Alright, welcome to episode 69 of uh, my progress game. Uh, in this episode, we are hopefully going to get to work on a man-made river, which will hopefully look more natural than man-made. Uh, before, before we do anything, uh, I would just like to appreciate the speed of a diamond pickaxe in alpha. Let's see how fast this is. Yeah, that's, that's fairly fast, I guess, compared to compared to other other such tools, but obviously it's not as fast as efficiency five with a haste two beacon. I'm almost scared to leave it. Ah, it's still there. All right, let's get this started. All right, so it's just dawn. We need to use all the time we can manage uh, in order to get this this thing done. So basically, this is the man-made bay that I, I, I created. I'm quite happy with it. Uh, it stops here, uh, as you can see. Now, I'm, I think for the sake of uh, argument, well, for the sake of uh, physics or whatever, I'm, no, I, I don't know what I'm saying. Basically, just for the heck of it, I'm going to make it uh, in the middle. But I'm hopefully, I think what I want to do is I want to make it so that it, it starts in the middle, but then it kind of zigzags its way over here. Actually, I can't live with it on normal. It zigzags its way over here, and then over here, and then round. Well, basically, I'm trying to get it so it's not just one big straight line. Um, the middle, it doesn't really matter so long as it's reasonably close to the middle. And there's the evidence of my... Um, the former, the sand, sandy past. Uh, okay, so we want the mouth of it to be reasonably big. I would, I would say, because uh, mouths of rivers, firths are generally big. Um, I'm doing this wrong already. I can tell. Oh, I'm almost have a shovel as well. That's the one thing I forgot to get. Um, so yeah, a big mouth. Um, we can probably let's see if we're if we're taking this as our basis point here. Uh, we'll that's kind of like the centre bit. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Maybe we should only go six, seven wide like that. Then that might be the best best option. Um, Actually, no, that was a mistake. Don't want to do that. Um, yeah, we'll go with that. I think that's a good size. Okay, so basically I'm going to just get to work on this off camera uh, where I can think without having to, to speak. And I will get back to you imminently. Alright, guys. I'd advise you to turn your monster brightness up because it is night time. Um, I don't think it's daytime anytime soon. Oh, it is. Okay, well things will be a lot more clearer um, by the light of day, uh, but basically down here uh, I've marked the outline of the river, so over there is spawn, um, and I've just dug channels on the on the two banks, which, um, well by the two banks I should say, because uh, so I can just dig out the parts in between that I I need to dig up. I am, I will admit, I am playing on peaceful. When I was filling this all in, I was playing on peaceful because I had to do it as quickly as possible. And it was annoying with the amount of mobs that were about. So, and I am doing this on peaceful. Um, I don't intend to play permanently on peaceful, uh, only for builds and certain things. But seeing as we do, do uh, seeing as we do stuff which involves mobs, it's probably not the best to play on peaceful too often. So, yeah. So anyway, all I'm going to be doing now is digging out all this and then digging banks and then filling it with water and I'll give you updates.
let's watch the sunrise. It looks awesome, even if it doesn't have the redness around it. So, I'm back. I have worked a bit more on the river. And it is, well, it's coming along well. I have successfully carved out the river. I have um, leveled the banks on both sides so they're now, it's now just above the, the, the water level here. And I'm about to uh, place, I should have made a, a shovel. Oh, I've got stone, thank you. Um, I'm just about to place uh, the uh, the water, so I'm going to do that on camera. Seeing as it is a monumentous occasion, let's see. Get rid of these. Okay, there we go. So that is the the river flowing in. Um, well, obviously it's going to be a stationary river because you don't really get flowing rivers in Minecraft. That would be too laggy. Um, I don't know. I like them the way they are. With the... Um, with the... Uh, just, just, you know, the stationary aspect to them. It's just fine. It feels like this water's like not wanting to update... I should put it there. Why does it not update? Because there's not one there, obviously. Eh, water's logical. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go along this uh, this riverbank and I'm going to place down water. Um, and we're going to see what it creates. Uh, I did... Uh, I was upset. Well, not upset. Not upset in the sense of felt like crying, but disappointed that the grass spread um, at the bottom of the bank so I'm hoping that the grass is killed off um, I'm, yeah, I'm just hoping the grass is killed off underneath so that it looks a little better if not I'm just going to live with it because I don't think it's going to be possible for me to um, to put it all put the, the, the soil down without the grass growing on it um, so yeah, that's that's the issue with that. I I would rather that the grass was was soil as opposed to grass, but at the minute it's grass. It might it might die off with the water, but it might not. Um, we'll just have to wait and see. The good thing is though, I know in later updates it will die off. So if we still have this world in uh, later updates, it will look like a proper river again. As you can see, the soil is still spreading in this area because I just I just put down put down some of that. So I will just be finishing this off and I'll be right back. Alright, there it is. It is uh, it is finished, the river. Uh, it runs all the way from over there. As you can see, across there, round, and that it basically follows that, that hillside bit, which, well, no, sorry, it does follow that hillside bit because I dug that bit out. But basically just fo um, it follows that um, that hill, yeah, it basically follows that hillside bit that goes around there, around there, and up there. Uh, I think it's good. It adds a bit to the landscape. Um, I plan to extend it, but I think I'll do that in another uh, another time. Unfortunately, the the soil does not look like it's uh, it's. Um, yeah, it looks like it's just going to remain as grass, unfortunately. Uh, I'm going to try one thing, though. I have made a uh, pit, uh, a hole, and I'm just going to try and hold the grass. That's weird, it works. Oh, look, and it's, it, it becomes, um, what do you call it? Yeah, it becomes uh, saturated or whatever, but hmm, don't quite think I. I don't think I like that as much. 
Hmm. I regret that now. <laughs> um. Okay. Uh, I will. This might annoy me. Hang on. I'm just going to do this, although I don't think it's going to help. There we go. I'll, I'll do that. Although, unfortunately, I think the soil under the... Um, under the, the, the these blocks that I've placed will turn to will turn to uh, what do you call it? Oh, oh, that was not meant to happen. Nope. There we go. Okay, just get that turned to grass and then I'll remove it. Uh, but yeah, I think that is all that we've got time for in this episode. Um, the next episode, I think we will upgrade to one point two. Uh, Alpha 1.2 where the biomes are introduced and a bunch of other things including the nether uh, I d as, as you saw last episode I did get a bunch of obsidian uh, so we can make a portal and yeah I think I'm quite looking forward to that but uh, just as it turns night thank you for watching and I will see you again next time